The only thing you can't play on Linux, BT dubs, by the way, is gonna be. Hmm. It's been a while since I played real Assassin's Creed games. <clears throat> The only games you can't technically play are going to be those that have like this anti-cheat where it actually goes into the kernel, the internal of your system. The issue with that is that you're essentially giving access to the security of your computer to some company that decides to have an anti-cheat, which is technically pretty. I, I, I don't feel the comfort of somebody having that much access to my computer. But to play games like PUBG, League of Legends, I have to try. Maybe League of Legends might work because I don't think that's a kernel based. Who's the other one? There's another one that I tried to play. And I had to enable. No, it might have been. It might have been League. It probably was League. Like bite code injection. I had to enable in my antivirus. I had to tell my antivirus, hey, League of Legends, let's let it inject as much byte code as you want. Don't even care about it. Otherwise, it wouldn't run the game. As soon as it starts the actual game, it would crash. I'd be like, what's going on? Why is it crashing? Uh, but it turns out that the Riot Shield Vanguard requires you to let it inject byte code into your processes directly. It's a bad thing, technically, but hey. So a lot of these heavy anti-cheat games are going to have that issue. Uh, my RTSs. 